Hi everyone, welcome back to the episode. If you're a new listener, uh, welcome. Thanks for finding us. If you're a veteran, thanks for coming back. Um, if, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe as much as I want to say this at the end, but I think I'm confident that, that you're going to like the channel. It's different. Let's just say it's different than any other dog, dog training uh, uh, advice that you're going to see out there, or, or for the most part, it's going to be different. I, I'm very, very sure of that. So, um, What is ZVV? Um, <laughs> what is that, Hans? Well, ZVV. You, you ever seen Behind the Dogs uh, yeah, ZVV? Seen it. You've yeah, seen it. Like, yeah. Well, what what does that? it stand for? Základní všeobecný výcvik, don't you know? There you go. <laughs> There you go. End of, end of video. End of video. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> yeah. Well, základní... Okay. It's a Czech title. Okay. Right? It's like a Schutzhund or whatever. Or okay. whatever they Their call it these days. That. Right? And uh, I, I'm dated because I keep calling it Schutzhund. And... Uh, and... And... and it, Základní všeobecný výcvik, that's in Czech, of course, and it means basic základ, uh, general exercise. That's what it means, you know, in, in English. Okay. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I hate communism, right? We've heard, we, there, there's a yeah, word in on the case you, In case you, <laughs> yeah, in case you don't know. Right? <laughs> If you're new to that. But, but you know what, there, there were some unintended consequences which actually communism was good for right for example unintended in, in like parentheses yeah. no no I mean, truly I'm unintended not, i mean it was a yeah unintended yeah right yeah. in other words everybody's these days i was the first one who imported czech german shepherds into the united states and then a bunch of other countries canada argentina Israel and so on, and um, and 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 the reason <clears throat> why the Czech dogs are so popular is 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 in, and legendary even now. You know, I guess we can say that it's been 40 years since I yeah. brought first dogs in early 80s. Yeah, early 80s. Yeah, and uh, and so. Um, because when I was. Uh, When I came to America, you know what? Let me say this, okay? One of the first thing, one of the hardest things when you come to America from communist country to free country was to learn thinking and to, to, to learn about what, what you're going to do with yourself. When you live in communism, right, you have everything lined up. And they tell you what to think. They tell you what to read. They tell you what to say. They tell you how to feel, right? But when you come in America, all this, at least now it's changing, unfortunately. But at least back then, it was, it, it was like you know, like you are here, and now, now what am I gonna do with myself? Yeah. I mean, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. It was amazing, right? So I decided to go with the dogs. Yeah. Right, and why? Because, because when I was working uh, for oil exploration, I decided to get me an avalanche dog to train because we were shooting dynamite, and we tripped a lot of avalanches, uh -huh. triggered, and uh, and so I thought it would be good in case somebody get caught in the avalanche uh, that we would have an avalanche dog. Yeah, and I started looking for dogs, you know, and around the country and, and and there was a back then it was a dog world magazine right mm, dog world yeah Maybe. you know it was an excellent magazine you know, unfortunately it's gone now i think they still may have presence on internet but it's yeah. gone um and 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 so i looked for the dogs and i visited different kennels and all that and eventually i went to shiloh back then they still did shiloh, they, they still did german shepherds and uh And I got me a dog, uh, puppy, on him in Timber, and then I got another one, Lady. But they just were not. I loved them with my life, and yeah. they were good dogs, yeah. especially yeah. Timber. He was, you know, pretty good protection dog and mm -hmm. all sorts. But 
I basically trained him to be search and rescue dog. Both mm -hmm. of those dogs I did. And, um, but I realized that these dogs are, you know, after I, I sweep through all country and look for quality dogs I was used to see in Czechoslovakia, uh -huh. and I couldn't find it. It uh -huh. just wasn't here. I mean, maybe, but I just couldn't yeah. see anywhere. So I said, well, I'm going to import me a dog from Czechoslovakia after I got these two. And I start, and I brought in, and, and then, you know, people like those dogs, and I bred it and started having puppies and all that. How is this possible that, let's say, and then the people from different countries, even from Slovakia, which is kind of riding, back then was kind of riding coattails of the Czechs, um, but like people in Poland and Hungary and yeah. all over, they just didn't have that type of quality as a Czechoslovakia, right? Yeah. I don't want to be, you know. It was just a fact. It's just a fact, fact, right? It's just, yeah. That's just how it was. Yeah. How many people heard of uh, uh, high quality Hungarian dogs, right? Yeah. Hungary actually did. Well, for the hunt. Uh, he did. He, no, German Shepherds. I'm oh, not right. for German Shepherds. No, the yeah. sheep. Sheep. Sheep, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah but I'm talking about German no, Shepherds. No, 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 All I'm no, talking about no. is German Shepherds yeah. right now, yeah. in, in yeah. case I didn't make it clear. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, like Hungary had a good no. uh, show lines, for yeah. example, right? Like yeah, yeah. And uh, and I actually got some dogs which had Hungarian show lines, which were actually pretty good working dogs too, okay. you know, and... Uh, but you're right, no. It's but but it, it wasn't like in Czechoslovakia, right? And it all started with the border patrol and all that stuff. And, uh, <clears throat> but anyway, going back, why, what was different, and I'm talking about ZVV in case you wonder if I'm getting on tangent, right? It says, what, what was different in Czechoslovakia back then which made these dogs so good. Yeah. All right, so when I was trained by Czech military to be an officer, and when I was in college, they, they, the, the, the teachers, the, the, the colonels and all these people yeah. who taught us about military, you know, they, would, they never said, if we will have war, then we will do this. They always said, when we have a war, we will do this. It was just like a given fact, right? Yeah. And, and so this country was in permanent state of getting ready for war, right? Yeah. Plus, we were on the border, and they felt like they got to protect the border. Yeah. And uh, so that's where the border patrol was very powerful. Of course, it was... Officially, they were saying they want to protect Czechoslovakia from Western spies and stuff coming in, but actually it was the other way around. Yeah. People want to run away, right? The, yeah. the, the fence where on the top was bent in, not, yeah, not the out. Other way yeah. 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 So uh -huh. <laughs> uh, anyway, so, so the, 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 in case of war, uh, when the, I don't know how they call it here. We call it mobilization, I guess, mobili mobilization, mobilization yeah. Yeah, in yeah. case of war, right? Yeah. Or, or, or preparing for war, just coming up. They would mobilize all the resources, meaning the people. There was, there was mandatory military, so you, you have to go, you know, yeah. when you hit 18 or Two whatever. Years, yeah. yeah, and uh, or when you were in college, you can postpone it a little bit. Yeah. But they still got to go. 18, 18. Right. Yeah. And, uh, and so... So they would, in case of war, they would confiscate cars, motorcycles, bicycles, yeah. all sorts of resources, and that included dogs. See, I'm coming to ZVV ever so slowly. And, uh, but you know, the communists or the military, they, they didn't want the dogs to be just like a dog, right? Like, like when America went to Vietnam, People donated their dogs, Dobermans and German Shepherds and stuff, but they were not trained. They had to go somewhere and being trained. Yeah, I don't know where it was, some kind of an island somewhere in New I York or wherever. Know. You know, they took those dogs there and trained them, and then they went to Vietnam. And if the dog survived or whatever, they yeah. would actually no, not Vietnam. I'm talking. I'm sorry, yeah. World War Two. World War Two. Yeah. Right. 
they would uh, return the dogs to the families, right? Uh, if if they that. survived, yeah. That, yeah. And 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 they were training them in this. I forget what's the name of it. Doesn't matter. Were the Czechs or Czech, Czechs in Czechoslovakia? This program didn't start in Slovakia. Slovakia followed a little later, and they call SVV SVV because the differences in languages, but it. Uh, it means the same thing in okay. Slovak is, you know, they just pronounce it a little different. And, um, and, and so, um, so the uh, uh, military or the government, well, I mean, everything was government since it was communist, right? Yeah. Uh, there's no private, you know? Yeah. It's like... Everything was for the yeah. State. It's like they say the, the the balloon which flew it could be private from China. No, there's no private there's in China. Private. It's all government, right? So, so they 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 made a program called the where you um, if you, they wanted the dogs to be trained, mm -hmm. right? In case of mobilization, where they would confiscate the dogs, they want to confiscate trained dog, not some dog which Make just sense. lays on the couch, yeah. right? We're ready. Yeah. So what they did, they would, they would tax you differently. If your dog was not trained, I'm making these numbers up, yeah. but you know, I don't know, I don't remember exactly how, what the numbers were, but I, I would tell you the, the numbers the way you would feel about it. Mm -hmm. Imagine you gotta pay. Fifteen hundred or two thousand dollars a tax on dog per year, uh -huh. if the dog was not trained. Okay. Or if you train the dog uh -huh. and he got ZVV one title, you would pay five bucks a year. Okay. So there was strong incentive for people to train their dogs in obedience, protection, and tracking. Okay. Well. And and just like should hunt. Yeah. You know. And uh, uh, and these uh, so basically everybody w w when they got a dog and they were even s small breeds they had the same kind of evaluation just to keep it fair mm -hmm. right but mainly it was designed for working breeds mainly German shepherds mm -hmm. Dobermans you know yeah. and all that but mainly German shepherds and the, so they 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 so so now imagine. You get yourself a puppy and you want to have it trained, but you don't, you don't really care about your dog doing obedience, protection, or tracking. Yeah. But you got to put the title on it, right? Because otherwise they're going to tax you. Yeah, otherwise they're going to tax you, right? And people are terrified. Oh, God, I hope my dog is going to pass, right? Uh -huh. So so, so you didn't want to spend uh, too much time on the training, you know, devote your life. Because if you do well, yeah, shoot some type of training, that's, time. you know, you got... It's 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 just takes over your life, yeah. right? And 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 so these people want to have a dog, but they don't want to compete in nationals and all this yeah. stuff, right? They just want yeah. they just want to get the title. So they knew, oh, Joe Smith, Joe Blow down the street, or in town over the hill has good German shepherds, which are easy to train, obedience, oh. protection, tracking. So you went and bought dogs there. People voted with their dollars, so to speak, mm -hmm. and they and that kept going on and on and on and on since like early fifties until you know for 30, 40 years, <laughs> right? Makes, okay, makes sense. You yeah. know, and 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 so so that developed these high quality dogs because of that because whole nation, yeah. whole country. Yeah. Who wanted you know, the part of it? Who want to <laughs> have the dog? Were doing their homework to find a dog which can do the title really quick. Right? I haven't heard any other. So the Czech Republic was the only one that, as far as I know. Yeah, because I haven't. Heard as far it. as I know, maybe it was somewhere else, but okay. But I don't see any other titles besides EVV and Schutzhund type yeah. titles. Okay, and. Uh, and so they uh, uh, they were three levels, four levels. ZM, which means základní basic basic exercise, okay, and uh, which means basic minimum ZM základní minimum, and uh, and and there 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 was no protection. 
Yeah. It was just to get the dog going, right? So they did just obedience and tracking, uh-huh. right, and ZM. Uh-huh. And then as the dog mature, then he would do ZVV1, ZVV2, ZVV3, right? And the UV3 is, you can still get those titles, they still do them. And uh, the UV3 was, back then at least, it was really, really difficult, right? So if you see, you know, back then, then it got kind of easier. But back then, if you got dog with ZVV3, you had something, you know. I mean, ZVV3 back then was given to like three or four dogs per year. Oh, okay. Right, it was like it's not like shoes and tree. Yeah. And also, when you look at the score, you know, in in Shudzun type of scoring, we have hundred points. Yeah. Right. And uh, I guess you gotta pass, you know, eighty five or what the heck it is eighty. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, I, I plead ignorance. I forgot. I've, I've done it, but I cannot remember. Yeah. I think eighty five minimum was, or eighty eighty five. I think. Otherwise, you didn't pass. Uh-huh. Where in Schutzhund, I mean, when in ZVV, the numbers were lower, mm-hmm. but but the passing, you know, was still the same as in Schutzhund, but it was spread through more points. Uh-huh. So sometimes you see points in Schutz, on, in ZVV, which is 70. Mm-hmm. That's still pretty good for ZVV, but in Schutzhund, yeah. you would fail. If you enjoyed this content so far, please subscribe to our channel. Also, Hans has a podcast channel called Dog Training for Life. Check that out so you can listen to the audio version. Right. So you got to keep that in mind. Okay. But um, but basically, that's it. Yeah. That's, okay. why, that's why these Czech dogs. Okay. Thanks, thanks to communists. Yeah, <laughs> I see what you mean. You know, so it was unintended consequence. They generated great dogs. Even so, the communism is gone. You know, yeah. uh, the world uh, benefited, yeah. whole world, even America, which they would be against America, benefited from yeah. having these or, or, or trying to get these dogs, you know. Wow. Well, okay. That's. Yeah. You, you explained this. I mean, you kind of did a little bit in. And I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of information that I get from Hans. So sometimes I, I get a, I get a process it. But um, this this really makes sense now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now, who, if you listen to this, you are best. You can be educated on what ZVV is and the history of it and uh, where it comes from. You know, and most people don't care or don't know. But now you do know. I do know. And this makes sense now why the, the Czech dogs are so, as you said, le- legendary. Because yeah, they're legendary yeah. Because of the unintended consequence of... Yeah, of, of and, then, and then, of course, uh, you know, they were like um, the Border Patrol dogs. At that time, this like, there was a little controversy. I just vegged in there even so it doesn't affect what I said already but the the let's say the board patrol dogs or police dogs they did not have to title you couldn't breed the dog unless it has zvv1 minimum okay right except when you were police or border patrol okay and the reasoning behind that was those dogs are police dogs and border patrol dogs they already work they already do tracking obedience and, yeah. and protection in real world right yeah so they did not uh need to title yeah right and then there was title H1, and sometimes you can see it, and they were true working dogs. It was not just military dogs for use for breeding, but it was actually dog on a street. H. H1. Okay. You can still see it sometimes. Okay. And, uh, and, and so the, the, the civilians, you know, they were kind of pissed about it. He says, he says, well, how come Border Patrol yeah. people, you know, uh, uh, and I think there was a symbol, and I should know better, but there was a symbol which says something as, what the heck was it? It had P.S., like Pohraniční stráž, Border Patrol in it. And I think and it was like a P.D., like a police dog slash SP, but I, I, I'm not sure about the PD part, but I know there was PS there, Pohraniční stráž. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and if that dog had that, they were owned by the military or police, uh-huh. 
And those dogs didn't have to have a title and still could be registered and being bred. Okay. 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 And it was while there was Iron Curtain and SV didn't have any effect on us in Czechoslovakia, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. In Germany, in West Germany, yeah. right? So, so uh, these. Uh, so you can go look at pedigree, and I gosh, I'm, I'm so angry at myself. I can't remember exactly the abbreviation, but it was something, something, and then slash PS. Okay. And that tells you that, and, and no other title. Mm -hmm. And when that, and, and the, the, the civilians who had to put all these titles on the dogs, they were kind of pissy about it. So eventually, you know, and it was Yiri Novotny uh -huh. was in there and they, they passed like a regulation. They said, no, you cannot, you know, your, your, your police dogs are shit. They cannot do this EVV, yeah. you know. Yeah. And so Novotny went and, got all his dogs right away off the right from the kennel and put titles on every one of them the evv oh i see just to yeah just to keep them quiet. well yeah. they Maybe just they to keep them quiet and it became uh, a rule then okay. even the police dog had to have it <clears throat> but you know i talked to iria biases as just no dog failed okay. basically they were all they all had all that training already anyway right. you know okay. so he basically proved them wrong but it became a standard then so there, the UVV.